Transformations of graphs can be a tricky topic, but it's not so bad if you begin by writing out firstly the basic shape, then listing all the transformations that are necessary, and then the order of transformations, and then the very last thing you should do is actually draw the graph. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Firstly, let's write out the basic shape for this question here, y equals log to the base 2 of minus 2x plus 4. What's the basic shape? Well, in that case, it's just y equals log to the base 2 of x. And hopefully you've memorized that basic shape by now. It just looks like this here. It has an x-intercept at 1, 0, and it has what's called a vertical asymptote. at x equals 0. Okay. A vertical asymptote is, or an asymptote is where a graph gets closer and closer to something but never quite touches it. In this case the log x graph gets closer and closer to the y-axis but it never quite touches it. You could do it forever and it would never quite touch. Okay, so that's the basic shape. The second step is to write out, list out all the transformations that we can see in this question. Okay, so what are the transformations? The first one is the negative sign, and the negative sign means that we need to reflect in the y axis. Okay, so in other words, we need to have the y axis being a mirror for the graph. Okay, so let's call that one reflection A, uh, transformation A. The second transformation that we see is this 2. What does the 2 do? Well, it's a dilation in the x, in the x direction, and it's actually a dilation of a factor of a half. And let's call that transformation B. Okay. The reason why it's a half is in the x direction you've got to do the reciprocal of the number. And the 4 at the end, what's the plus 4 do? Well, that moves the graph left by 4 units. Okay, And let's call that one transformation C. So we've got three transformations. And now it's really important, we've got three what are called inside transformations because all of the transformations are happening inside the function. Okay, So these are all inside transformations. And from the notes we learned that when you're doing more than one inside transformations you have to do them in reverse arithmetic order. Okay, Now in arithmetic you normally do multiplication before addition. So in reverse order you need to do addition before multiplication. In other words we need to do transformation C left by 4 units before B and A. Okay, So let's write that down in the next page. That the correct order of transformations is C then B, then A. Okay. If we look back at it for a second, it actually doesn't matter if we do A before B, does it? If you times the minus and times the 2, they're both multiplications and it doesn't matter which order you multiply in, so it actually doesn't matter which order we do this. So we could equally well have done C, then A, then B. Okay, but let's not do anything more complicated than we have to. So let's do C, then B, then A. In other words, the graphs that we're going to be drawing are log to the base 2 of x, then log to the base 2 of x plus 4, because remember transformation C was left by 4. 
then we're going to be drawing log to the base 2 of 2x plus 4. And then we're going to be doing log to the base 2 of minus 2x plus 4. Okay? This is really important to write this down first before you start to draw the graph. Because otherwise, you'll do the transformations in the wrong order and you'll get it wrong. Okay, so let's move on now and draw these graphs. Now you can do the graphs all on the same page or you can do them separately. I might do them separately just so that we can we can keep it nice and neat. Okay, so here's our first graph. What we want to do is we want to draw the graph of y equals log to the base 2 of x. Just the basic shape. Okay? That's the basic shape. It's nice and easy. Okay, next, we want to draw let's do the next one, which is y equals log to the base 2 of x plus 4. Now how does that look? Well, oh now I haven't drawn this particularly well have I? Let me just undo that. Draw the y-axis over here and you'll see in a minute why we're drawing the y-axis over here. If we're moving this log 2x graph 4 units to the left then the asymptote will now be over here at x equals minus 4. Okay. It will have exactly the same shape as the basic shape and the intercept will now be at x equals minus 3. Okay. So far so good. A bit messy but it doesn't matter as long as the concepts are right. That's all that matters. Okay, let's move on to the next graph. We want to be drawing, let's get it right this time with the y-axis. Okay, so what are we up to? We're up to drawing y equals log to the base 2 of 2x plus 4. Okay. Now the 2, remember, was a dilation by a half in the x direction. So whereas the asymptote was at x equals minus 4, it now gets squashed down to being at minus 2. And was, whereas previously the intercept was at minus 3, it's now minus 1.5. So that's our intercept. And what you actually end up getting, if you squash a graph by a factor of half in the x direction, it ends up making it steeper. So this one, this graph that we've just drawn is actually steeper than the graph, or should be steeper, than the previous graph. Okay. And now let's finish with the final graph, which is make this one a little bit bigger because it's the answer. Okay, so this is the final graph now. Let's do it in blue, shall we? Log to the base 2 of minus 2x plus 4. Okay. Now the final transformation, the minus, is a reflection across the y-axis. So it's exactly the same as that as that previous one but just with mirror image. So instead of the asymptote at being x equals minus 2, the asymptote is now at x equals plus 2. This is hard to draw. This is very hard to draw, but that's roughly right. The intercept there is 1.5 okay. and of course we need to find the y-intercept to find a y-intercept 
we let x equal 0. So in other words, y is log to the base 2 minus 2 times 0 plus 4, which is log to the base 2 of 4, which is 2. Okay, so our y-intercept is 0, 2. And that's it. That's our final answer. y equals log to the base 2 of minus 2x plus 4. So when you're doing these questions, just to recap, we go right back to the beginning. The first step is always to write the basic shape, that's step one. To write down your transformations, step two. Step three is to determine the correct order of those transformations. And then finally, then you should draw the graphs. Okay.